the UK alone, five people die from sepsis every hour. That's over 52,000 deaths per year. The chemicals that are released make the capillaries, the tiny blood vessels that supply the tissues, dilate. So as soon as they dilate, the capillary walls stretch and white blood cells are able to escape out of the blood vessels and into the infected tissues. Are released not just locally, they're released all over the body in massive quantities. When all of the capillaries all over the body dilate, then the blood pressure falls. And when those blood vessels leak fluid, the blood pressure falls even more. And under normal conditions, oxygen can easily seep through the capillary walls to keep the surrounding cells alive. Millions of tiny blood clots start to form to try to repair the damage to the blood vessel walls. This, of course, is a famous sign of meningitis. But actually, it only happens with meningitis when the infection in the brain spreads into the bloodstream, causing meningococcal sepsis. For the brain to work normally, it needs a good supply of oxygen. For me to behave normally, for me to answer questions like, what month is it? My brain needs to be working normally. If you see any of the severe signs of sepsis, go immediately to your nearest hospital emergency department or call for an ambulance.